we have another eventful week for K-pop fans, and there's just a lot that happened. From top openly throwing shade at Blackpink to 21's epic surprise reunion performance in Coachella. Oh my god. Which completely blew everyone's mind and honestly, no one's ready to move just yet. I also have an update about Aibu and how the girls are at the receiving end of Knet's criticism after their recent encore performance caught everyone's attention. And yes, they're getting cancelled because of this. If you guys are ready, make sure to buckle up because I have a lot of things to talk about in this video, so let's get started. Big Bang's top is already making a ruckus after Blinks accused him of purposely omitting Blackpink's name on a recent Instagram post. After a successful release with Still Life, Big Bang's T.O.P. is set on a new journey to start anew with his career, and while this news made a lot of VIP sad, fans are also very optimistic to hear more music from the rapper in the future. Despite leaving his longtime company YG Entertainment, Top still showed support to former label mates 21, who had an epic performance on the Coachella stage a few days ago. Seems like even Top can't get over the reunion stage of one of the best girl groups of all time. However, his Instagram story garnered mixed reactions after fans noticed how the rapper basically crossed out Blackpink's name in the photo he shared. Aired. The original tweet Top posted contains both Blackpink and 21's name, since it talks about how 21 joined Blackpink as the second group who was able to perform on the Coachella stage. And while the photo was soon deleted, the damage was already done. Blinks were quick to notice how their fave's name was covered and stricken out, and of course, this drew a lot of backlash towards Top, who they assumed to be throwing shade at Blackpink. Pink. Turns out there was a much deeper feud between the fandom and the former Big Bang rapper, especially when he was once called out by the very same fandom as a criminal when he danced to the girl's song way before. This is why VIPs were assuming that the rapper is basically just doing what Blinks want him to do and took the initiative and not get associated with Blackpink by covering the group's name. However, there was also other fans who think that Top doesn't mean anything malicious and was only careful since he isn't part of YG Entertainment anymore. In case you don't know, mentioning artists from other companies can trigger unnecessary rumors, and the rapper is just trying to avoid that. Also, netizens pointed out how Top purposely chose a post that had the picture of the two girl groups to low-key show support to both. Top has not released any statement about the matter, but seriously, K-Nets need to chill and stop assuming things from the smallest of matters. Speaking of 21, the OG girl group from YG literally took everyone's breath away when they made a surprise appearance at this year's Coachella. Honestly, no one expected to see all four members on stage that night, but fans weren't complaining. Yes, CL was initially listed to perform as part of 88 Rising's Head in the Clowns Forever, but the leader decided to go big and fly all her members and give the best reunion stage ever. Blackjacks were literally screaming after they saw the group complete after six years, and it was the only thing people were talking about in Twitter with over 2 million tweets in just a few hours. This fan also pointed out how CL just did the same thing she did in Mama 2015. Even Dara's shoes went off flying, but she proved how professional she is and continued with one shoe missing. Queens. They're really the queens for a reason. Former G Friend member Yedin is set to make her solo debut next month, and fans are super excited. The report was made by News One, who revealed a representative from Sublime Artist Agency shared Yedin is preparing a solo album with the goal of releasing it in mid May. This is the first time in a long while that Yedin will be back in the music scene after leaving Source Music and Buddies are surely fired up to support her. She also shared that she will most probably be dancing in this release and everyone is looking forward to seeing her back. This is not the last spoiler she shared with fans because she also dropped a few more hints involving flowers and everyone is already guessing what concept Yenin is going to do. I'm really looking forward to this solo and I know fans are stoked to finally get idol Yenin back on stage, right?
Seems like K-Nets are still canceling people in 2022, and this time, Kepler's Hyunin Bahie is getting dragged because of her lazy dancing. And yes, it's once again related to Queendom, and the girls are getting involved with controversies one after another since the show started. Netizens should chill out. After the Mnet's daughter's accusation, Hyunin Bahie is receiving a huge bout of hate after her fan cam during the introduction stage went viral. The girls performed their debut song, Wat Da Da, and added a few twists to level it up, but Knets begged to disagree. They specifically called out Hyunin Bahie for her weak and uncoordinated dancing during the whacking part of the song. This netizen made a comment saying, quote, vocals are weak, rap is weak, and dance is weak. She has good visuals, but it is not inferior to her members. So why are fans blindly defending her? Another called out other fans who were defending the idol by saying, quote, she doesn't have any dancing talent, and we cannot see Bahia's improvement in this performance. But fans are crying to put her in the center and ask for more lines? I don't get it. What do you guys think? Personally, I believe there's a lot of room for improvement, but we all know how this kind of thing doesn't happen overnight. So Knets should give her the chance to do better and stop dismissing hard work just because they don't like what you see. Moving on, Ibe's Liz is garnering attention with her sudden weight gain, and fans are showering her praise rather than hate, and I love seeing this kind of character development. I know you guys are aware about the ridiculous high beauty standards in Korea, therefore idols are expected to look their best all the time. And of course, this includes maintaining a particular weight so that they register better in camera. So this is why idols usually face harsh criticism whenever they put on some weight, but Liz is getting complimented for doing so. Comments like, quote, Liz is cuter now. She's like a squirrel. I want to pinch her cheeks. She became healthier. She's so skinny before flooded Korean forums where a picture of the idol was shared. Some even say that they prefer seeing the idol looking healthy and glowing, and I'm all down for that. However, while Liz is getting lots of love from the audience, the group as a whole is experiencing the exact opposite after their encore stage for KBS Music Bank where they beat Big Bang for number one. And while their win alone is already stirring a controversy, their live singing for the encore added more fuel to the fire and Knets are going all in with the criticism for their allegedly unstable vocals. It's true that comments were also saying how compared to their 11 promos, the girls improved a lot with singing live, but the fact remains that they still look shy singing out loud and their vocals are still a par from their other idol peers. Among the members, Jang Won-young and An Yu-jin are receiving the hardest blows mainly because they already debuted before with Aiju Won and are still struggling. Saying more about the matter, this netizen commented, quote, Ray sings the best in the group and the other girls sound monotonous. Won Young can't sing. We can excuse the other girls, but Tang Won Young and An Yu Jin have been idols for three years, but their vocals have receded instead of improved. With another calling the encore a karaoke version, saying, What kind of encore stage is this? Am I listening to the karaoke version of Love Dive? Then why are they singing in unison to hide each member's weakness? Lastly, Source Music was fined a whopping 3 million won after personal information for buddies were leaked. The incident happened when the company announced that GFriend was disbanding and decided to refund fans their fan club membership fee. However, the Google questionnaire used by Source Music was accidentally set to public, which caused the leak of thousands of personal details of fans who answered the said questionnaire. The decision was handed over last April 13th, and the company is expected to pay a fortune after such a rookie mistake on their part. Well, but are saying it's karma's way of taking revenge after G Friend's unexpected disbandment last year, but who knows? What do you guys think? Did Top really shade Blackpink? What are your thoughts about Iva and their live singing? Let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to stay tuned for more. See you!